Hello and welcome you over timesofindia.com. I am Akash Das Gupta. Now in this video today, I'm going to be talking to you about the Chennai Super Kings IPL franchise. That's right, the Yellow Brigade, which is just so popular and successful, of course, through all these editions and seasons of the Indian Premier League. If you think about the Chennai Super Kings, you will think of consistency. The two really are synonymous with each other, aren't they? Now, talking about the Chennai Super Kings, they are of course four-time champions, the second most successful team in the history of the competition behind only the Mumbai Indians, who won one title more with five. But if you look at consistency, really, CSK is a league apart, aren't they? They have made the playoffs in every single season that they have played, barring just two. And those two seasons were the 2020 and the 2022 seasons. Now, remember, the Chennai Super Kings were also suspended for two seasons. Uh, when they did not play as per the Lodha Committee's uh, ruling. That ruling came out in July 2015 and CSK were subsequently suspended in 2016 and in 2017. But what did they do in 2018? They roared back by winning the title. I wanted to quickly run you through uh, how CSK has performed across all the editions of the IPL so far, the 15 completed seasons from 2008 to 2022. Now, first up, in 2008, they were runners-up. They lost to Rajasthan Royals in the final. In 2009, they were semi-finalists when they lost to RCB in the second semi-final. That, remember, was a time when the IPL used to have semi-finals. In the 2010 season, they were champions. They beat Mumbai Indians in the final. In 2011, champions again beat RCB in the final. In 2012, runners-up lost to... Uh, lost to KKR in the final. In 2013, they were runners-up again, then lost to Mumbai in the final. In 2014, they made the playoffs yet again, losing to Punjab in qualifier 2. In 2015, they were runners-up again, losing to Mumbai in the final. 2016 and 2017 were the two seasons when CSK was suspended. In 2018, they bounced back by winning the title, beating Hyderabad in the final. 2019, they were runners-up, lost to Mumbai in the final. 2020, they were knocked out in the group stage, finished seventh out of eight teams. This was a low point for CSK. 2021, they again bounced back by winning the title, beating Kolkata in the final. And in 2022, last season, again, CSK did not perform as per their high standards and were knocked out in the group stage itself, finishing ninth out of 10 teams. Now, if you look at how many times CSK has been runners-up, that number stands at a staggering five. So imagine if they had gone on to win the title those five times, they would have been sitting on nine titles currently. And that stat itself shows you just how consistent the Chennai Super Kings have been over the years. Now, last season, this team also notched up the record for the maximum number of last ball finishes in a run chase. That's when they beat Mumbai Indians in a match. One uh, particular statistic that really shows how consistent a team has been is, of course, the win percentage. And if you take a look at the Chennai Super Kings, they are right there at the top of the pile. Their win percentage currently stands at 57.73%. They have played 220 matches so far. This is before the game that will be played against the Delhi Capitals uh, on the 10th of May. 2023 and out of those 220 games they have won 127 lost 90 tied one and there have been no results in two matches and in terms of the overall matches won they are number two just behind mumbai indians the mumbai indians tally stands at 134 the csk tally currently stands at like i said 127 now let's talk about a few of the reasons why the chennai super kings are just so consistent the number one reason that any expert will tell you really is the captain himself, MS Dhoni, a leader extraordinaire. He has been the leader of the Chennai Super Kings right from the very beginning in 2008. He's someone who has himself worked so hard on his own game right from the very beginning, going on to become the best wicketkeeper batsman in the world. And when it comes to a leader on the field, there is no one really better than MS Dhoni, whether it was in international cricket where he won two World Cup titles and the Champions Trophy title or in the IPL where he's led CSK to as many as four titles and five runner-up finishes. He's also extremely calm and collected and that really helps the Chennai team overall. He's somebody who goes by his gut more often than not. You can see him taking spot decisions on the field and he almost always gets them right. Remember how he threw the ball to Joginder Sharma in the final of the 2007 T20 World Cup in India, went on to win that title by beating Pakistan 
Pakistan well he brings of course the same uh, consistency and calmness into his captaincy in the IPL and he always backs his players and his own strengths as well is not scared of making tough decisions on the field and of course will go down as one of the all time greats another big reason for CSK doing so well over the uh, over the seasons of the IPL is that they have always decided to retain the core of their team as much as possible barring of course the mega auctions that happen when 90% or more of the team has to go back into the auction pool the chennai super kings have decided always to retain the core of their team and have backed them to the hilt uh, they don't like to chop and change too much whether it's the overall squad or the playing 11 and that has been a big reason for their success and consistency over the years so the likes of rayna jadeja raidu uh, dhoni of course himself murli vijay bravo ashwin mohit sharma uh, subramaniam badrinath shane watson lungi nigiri faf duplessy imran tahe they always managed to keep these players as close to their uh, their squad as possible and maintain them in the core as long as possible Another big reason has been uh, the presence and the continued presence really of Stephen Fleming. Now Fleming remember played the first season of the IPL as a player for Chennai Super Kings in 2008. The next season in 2009 he retired and was made head coach and he's been coach since then barring of course the two seasons when CSK were suspended and he is someone who's considered to be a, the backbone of the team in many ways and along with Fleming there have been others in the support uh, structure and the support staff who've also been around in the CSK camp for a very very long time and when you have one man calling the shots behind the scenes along with the captain the vision becomes clear and that is so so apparent with the chennai super kings and with steven fleming who's been their head coach for such a long time another big reason is the domestic talent that chennai focuses and then banks on uh, almost completely over the years there have been so many indian players who've done so well for the chennai super kings there is no real over dependence on foreigners if you look at the likes of ms dhoni ashwin jadeja raidu uh, they've all come up as uh, up to the plate and delivered uh, for uh, csk over the years even the likes of badrinath and murli vijay another reason is that csk have almost always managed to have very solid opening batsmen now whether it was matthew hayden and murli vijay uh, right at the beginning or uh, michael hussey and murli vijay after that or brendan mccallum and dwayne smith or now that is ruturaj gaikwad and devon conway they don't like to chop and change they like to assign roles to their players and stick to them through the season and multiple seasons really and that gives these players a lot of confidence and therefore reflects in the success of the team overall uh, another reason is that over the seasons uh, csk have also had great quality all rounders in their ranks so the likes of duane bravo who is still the joint highest wicket taker overall in the ipl chahal recently equal his record uh, or shane watson ravindra jadeja albi mokul sam karan so they've always had good quality Uh, all-rounders, and you all know that all-rounders are worth their weight in gold when it comes, especially to the T20 format, the shortest format of the game. Another reason is that they have always managed to have quality spinners in their ranks, and that has helped them turn the Chepok, uh, a traditionally spin-friendly venue with uh, lots of cracks on the on their pitches, into a complete fortress. So, if whether it's the likes of Jadeja or Moin Ali. R Ashwin even Mutaya Murlidharan uh, Mitchell Santner Imran Tahir they've had quality uh, world class spinners in their ranks over the years and another reason that i would like to point out in this video is the ability to spot good talent and nurture it over the years there have been so many but most recently uh, the two sri lankans you know mathisha pathirana and mahesh thikshana uh, uh, pathirana in particular a 20 year old pacer uh, someone who csk spotted as a 17 year old when they saw his videos playing school level cricket wanted to bring him on board as a net bowler did not get permission from sri lankan cricket and then finally managed to get him on board before the last season where he played a few games but this season he's been playing consistently he's bowling the tough overs and he is delivering he's someone of course who has uh, you know in he's in the lasit malinga nuwan thushara mold he's, he's a slinger and uh, therefore dhoni feels that he should be taken good care of and he's also in fact communicated to the sri lankan board about what they ideally should do with him to take better care of him he's currently the third highest wicket taker in the csk uh, camp behind tushar deshpande and ravindra jadeja with 10 wickets in 7 matches also the 
way Dhoni and CSK have uh, tackled Ajin Kya Rahane, someone who thought was completely on the sidelines, in the cold storage, if not worse. He's been brought back and look how well he's doing. He's, uh, you know, become a great hitter for this CSK team. He's reveling in his newfound role. He has a strike rate over 181 uh, for CSK. Who would have thought before this season that that's the role that Rahane would be playing? But that's the vision that this team really very clearly has. And therefore, as a result of that, they are currently one of the stronger teams of IPL 2023 and are once again looking good and are very strong contenders really for perhaps yet another IPL title.